what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm talking about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about saw x we'll be talking about megan and then we'll conclude by talking about harry potter now i'm actually going to kick this off by talking about saw x which has another returning star back in what i'll call our holy trinity because these three are like the og crew as i think many people will refer to them as when it comes to john and his apprentices so Viewer Don tweeted out that Hoffman will be back in Saw X in some capacity. Now, there are no specific details on how he will return, but given that this is set in between Saw and Saw 2, I think it's pretty cool, or I think it would be pretty cool to see Amanda, Hoffman, and John maybe interact with each other for a brief moment on screen. So you have Shawnee Smith back, you have Tobin Bill back, and now you have uh, Costas back. He will be back as Hoffman in the upcoming 10th entry in the long running series. Hoffman fans, I'm sure, have been eager to see this character back i know when i did some other saw videos in the past i saw you guys chiming in, in the comment section saying you would love to see him back but i know there's also dr gordon fans out there who would probably hope that instead of hoffman being back it would be dr gordon here's what i'll say on that as we continue to have these surprises and these appearances told to us uh put out there before we're supposed to know about them i'm leaning on the idea that there's definitely probably most likely <laughs> one or two more surprises in this upcoming movie i at this point wouldn't be surprised if there are some other surprises in the cast uh i'm just really excited to hear the hello zep song again mostly also again like i've said countless times before i just want to see a story that ties up the loose ends with john properly not that there are really too many I would like to see addressed, but like a good send off for the character, a good send off for Tobin Bell and all his contributions to the franchise over the years. But let me know what you guys think about Hoffman returning in the comments below. What do you think his role will be? How do you think they will utilize him in this upcoming entry? But just to jump into Megan, Megan is arriving on digital February 24th and on Blu-ray and DVD March 21st from Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. This will include the theatrical version as well as the unrated edition now the unrated cut will actually be making its way over to peacock on february 24th so that's next friday akila cooper who we know wrote megan spoke about this last month with the los angeles time actually she said that there should be an unrated version at some point i heard it's in the books or i heard it's on the books but yes it was way gorier her body count in the script was higher than in the movie it wasn't a gabriel in malignant scale massacre but she did kill a bunch of more people including a couple of characters who james wan was like i like what you did with those people but i want them to live it i was merciless merciless but again that is me my humor is extremely dark now the minute this drops next friday i am going to dive into this cut as soon as it arrives on peacock and i might even do a brand new review just to discuss those differences i noticed and see if my thoughts on the film have been impacted by this unrated edition because i i think i told people in my spoiler free review that i put up and in just some other videos i've done talking about megan since then that i loved when they were letting you imagine what was being done but every kill was kind of off screen in a way or at least cutting to something else uh, the implications of what happened are very obvious but you know when you're getting to the slasher aspects of the story i want to see all of this in its gory glory and i can't wait to see what this unrated edition is going to allow me to experience when it drops on peacock next friday i definitely will be getting the physical media release because i definitely am someone who believes in physical media if you follow me on my social media platforms you know that i love physical media so I will definitely be picking up the home media release when it drops in March. Uh, but you guys can let me know. Are you excited for the unrated cut? Will you be checking it out, checking it out next weekend when it drops on Peacock? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comment section below. So just to touch on Scream 6 next. Scream 6's box office projections has have once again risen over on the box office pro site this time is where we're going to talk about it. Which now has it predicted to do up to $38 million domestically during its three-day opening weekend. Which lines in with what Deadline was reporting going off the fact that this could end up making history for the franchise being the highest opening domestically for the three-day weekend now it also went on to include that they are predicting that the domestic run for the film theatrically could end around 65 to 95 million by the time its theatrical run is indeed finished now if that's true if that's what it actually is able to do that would be higher than screen five domestically i also want to now touch on my guesses of the critic scores because i've had a few messages asking me what i think those could be now I want to say this. 
I genuinely see this doing between 60 to 80%. And for anyone that wants to overreact in the conversation, like that's too low. No, it's not. <laughs> that's on par with what the rest of these movies have done, except Scream 3, who's the outlier there. However, my thoughts on the movie might differ from the film, from the from the average film critic score, just like yours. So try not to get too invested in that. Now, obviously, critic opinions, they can be very informative, depending on, I guess, who you might be listening to or what you might be reading. But some may be focused on them a little too much. And I think regardless, Scream 6 will be praised amongst the fandom the most. That's where it matters the most in my heart. I do also note that you will see several people who will try to label this movie certain things and not try to really hone in on the nuance of it all. And when it comes to, um, you know, labeling movies a complete copy of this or a complete copy of that, I feel as though a lot of members of the fandom are very unfair to the fact that a lot of these movies share similarities but it's the fresh tweaks to them that make the rehashing acceptable so rehashing things if that's what you're going to try to knock this movie for i would say you should probably go back and rewatch some of these other movies where there's a lot of rehashing going on but there's some clever tweaks to make it fresh those are my thoughts on where i think the critic scores will land between 60 to 80 percent lastly i'm going to talk about harry potter and the cursed child now a new report has come out claiming that Warner Brothers Discovery wants to move forward and turn The Cursed Child into a two-part film. These reports haven't been picked up by sites like Variety or Deadline, so I'm just going to say I don't believe this is true at all. I think it's actually very untrue. But these sources apparently told The Sun, which is a UK outlet, that while everybody wants Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grant, and Emma Watson back, there will have to be scripts in place before the studios make them an offer. So I'm seeing reports going out that these three are locked in. No, they're not. There's not even a script according to this source apparently um uh, here's my thoughts on this look i think a lot of money can genuinely wash away any moral issues these actors have at the moment with jk rowling at the end of the day i struggle to currently see this happening but money speaks more volumes than anything i think at the end of the day if they get any backlash in the media if they decide to participate in this i think they are willing to accept that because at the end of the day they will be mostly returning to help bring these characters to life more so than say hey yeah we're actually in agreement with jk rowling and her stupid takes i don't think that's what it's going to come down to but if they throw a lot of money at them they're going to forgive and forget definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.